All right, I'm gonna go over in this video how to turn the T3 into the T7, okay? Um, so we've got the uh, LTM 11200 set up with a T3 boom on the left. We've got the T4 through T7 sections, which we I bought from the store. Come in here, you go to the T4, T7. Set it up just like I did inside for the main cab, right? Um, then I also have the Terex 5500 set up as a uh, support crane, okay? Um, so first thing, we're going to come in here. We need to go into the crane cab. And you'll notice you've got IC nodes on the left-hand side and IC nodes on the right-hand side. The IC nodes on the right hand side are for the cab position, um, so I'm going to get those, get it into position, bring, swing it off to the right. The ones on the left are for the boom extension. <clears throat> okay, If you notice, there's this one off by itself, and that is to uh, extend the section, the T4, basically extend the, the boom cylinder to accept the T4 section. Okay, and so we're going to click that. All right, and it should be going out. And you'll notice here, and if I bring up this little camera, you can see that the little animation on the screen over here is extending out, excuse me, the hydraulic cylinder from the middle. Okay, so while that's going on, we're going to get out, we're going to go to the crane here. Yep. Another thing you can see is you can see that going out. You shouldn't see that yet. That should be hidden. i got to correct that. But we'll get there. As you want to use this IC node to, un to hide or remove the cover, right? We're going to get into the Terex. And we're going to line up the attach point so that we can lift the boom. Okay. So now we've attached to it. I believe this is just this crane that's saying it's incompatible. Um, I think it's because there's a, a hook attacher point, which is at the same point as the hook. Um, so of course it's not going to attach like that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move it out just a little bit. Move it up and move it in. A little bit more. And we're going to rotate the hook. And bring the boom up. All right. That's pretty close. And you'll notice that now the animation is complete. That cylinder is all the way out, and we have the attach prompt. So what we'll do is we will hit attach, and you notice now that the uh, diagram shows that you have the T4 through T7 sections extended. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to retract using the boom section install retract IC node there and you can see the animation is retracting that IC node. Another thing we'll need to do is you'll notice that we now have multiple views of it. Actually that should be going back. Okay, that's a little bug. That's okay. We're going to hide that and 
That way you don't have two boom noses. But, so this is the boom nose that's actually inside the chassis and it has all the animations and stuff to it. As you can see it's retracting. And to uninstall it you basically do the opposite steps. So that's how you make the T3 into the T7.